I found that the original C1 Devon air spring had a harsh mechanical top out that was very noticeable. Maybe more so for me than other people because I tend to run my rebound pretty damn fast. And whenever the fork would rebound from deep in its travel especially, it would noticeably top out. And that's not a feeling I enjoyed very much. So what is the modification? Well, it is super, super simple. Basically, all I did was I took one of these, which, as you may know, is the top out bumper. This uh, sits in the negative chamber of the air spring and acts as a mechanical top out in the C1 spring. And this is the bumper that I have now. I'll just uh, take that off so I can show you up a bit closer and give you a better comparison. If I were to guess, that's roughly a quarter the size, maybe a little bit more, maybe a third the size of the original bumper. The idea behind me doing this was simply driven by increasing the negative volume. The top out going was a byproduct of that. Um, and overall, now this air spring behaves a lot more like the B1 spring, which I have rode on my friend's bikes, uh, which I definitely prefer to the stock C1 spring. Essentially what this modification does is it turns your C1 spring into a B1 spring. However, there is an added benefit, although not if you're running at the max travel configuration of your fork, a Lyric at 180 or a Pike at, I believe, 160. The benefit you get is you get a little bit more travel. I think for me it's about three, four millimeters more travel normally in the C1 spring. The uh, top out is on this bumper. So when you chop it up and make it a lot smaller, it tops out pneumatically and uh, yeah, it's extended. So the pneumatic top out, if I were to guess, is, I don't know, a few mil above where this emergency little bumper is. If you've got a C1 spring and you're not happy with the small bump compliance or the fact that it tops out in a clunky manner, then I'd highly recommend giving this a try. Just remember, do not do this modification if you are running your fork at its max travel configuration because you could risk pulling your damper apart. There's one more look at how the spring looks. If, um, if I had that old damper, the old bumper, sorry, you can see that the resting point is roughly about 15 millimeters higher. So I've shortened that bumper by, yeah, roughly 15 mil. I've had great experiences using this setup and I definitely wouldn't go back to a stock C1 setup. I'd be ripping that fork apart and chopping up the bumper as soon as I could because, yeah, it's it's miles better for me in terms of performance and, yeah, just, just a lot better. With the uh, stock C1 spring, I was running about 85, 90 PSI. This setup has allowed me to go up to 125 PSI. Um, and the small bump compliance is miles ahead of where I was at 90 with the stock setup. So make of that what you will. And if you want to give this setup a try, I'd highly recommend it. Just remember, not when your fork's at its max travel configuration, because that equals sad times. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to me rant about my bouncy squishy boy. And um, any questions? fire away if you if you want to ask me I'm more than happy to answer and yeah thank you very much for watching cheers